Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at my favorite ways to earn continuing education as a physical therapist, but I think you'll find it helpful whether you're a PT, an OT, athletic trainer, or even need continuing education for renewing your nursing license. So let's take a look. Okay, the first way that I really like to earn continuing education units is by reading and reviewing scholarly articles. Now, depending on your state, your licensing board may allow you to independently read journal articles or other educational material and summarize it in order to earn continuing education credits. For example, here in Michigan, I can earn up to six CEUs by reviewing journal articles and putting together a small review of what I just learned in a templated worksheet provided by the licensing board. Now, I realize that not every state is going to have this as an option to earn continuing education credits, but you can do something similar by researching scholarly articles and putting together a presentation on the material that you just learned. And that leads me into my second way that I really like to earn continuing education units and that's by providing in services or small presentations to other clinicians that I work with. Now I hope you work in a place that values clinical education and if they have any time allotted for you to present or provide an in-service to the staff or to the rest of your team, I really recommend that you jump on that opportunity because not only is it a good opportunity to research topics and present them for your learning purposes, but also you can earn credit for the continuing education hours that you're required to achieve when you renew your license each year. I really think this is a triple win because not only do you learn the material that you're interested in, you get the opportunity to present it to people and earn credit for continuing ed units that you need for renewing your license anyway, but you also get to practice presentation skills and communication skills, and that can be really valuable in any stage of your career. All right, and my third go-to for completing CEUs is by completing over 12 hours each year online. Now, as a therapist in Michigan, I can complete half of my CEUs online, so I take advantage of that because it saves me a lot of time and it saves me a lot of money. I mean, I can watch these courses at my own pace wherever I want. I can rewind the material or even pause it and take breaks when I need to. So I've taken quite a few online courses uh, from multiple different platforms, but I keep coming back to MedBridge over and over again because they're so convenient, it's really easy to use, and there's always a course that seems to be really interesting to me uh, when, when I browse what's available. So if you haven't heard of MedBridge, you can take a look at my review where I answer the question, is MedBridge worth it? And I give you a better idea of what to expect when you sign up for MedBridge. And if you decide to sign up, you can save over $175 and access all of the courses with unlimited CEUs for just 200 bucks using the promo code PTPROGRESS. The absolute best recommendations I have for people who are looking for continuing education are to find ways to maximize those free resources such as journal articles and presenting clinical in services and to get the biggest bang for your buck when you pay for continuing education courses. And like I mentioned, using platforms like MedBridge gives you unlimited access to CEUs for one price instead of having to travel different places and paying for different uh, clinical education uh, courses throughout the country. Now, if you've never heard of MedBridge, go ahead and stick around. You'll see that video there. Get my full review on what it is that I like best about the platform and then others, other videos about how to maximize your continuing education. We'll see you there.